Soon it will be science fair season at schools across the land. This annual academic tradition can sorely test family schedules and sanity, as well as parental homework boundaries. Here with a science fair survival guide is WSJ's work family columnist, Sue Schellenbarger. Hi, Sue. Great to see you. Great to see you. So, Sue, homework is one thing, but what is it that makes a child's science fair project stressful in a whole new way? It's kind of like homework on steroids. You've got more than just the scientific hypothesis and the experimentation and the testing of it. It's also time management. Usually these projects last for several weeks. The deadlines are far out and the child has to write a report or do a PowerPoint and present it at the end. So there's a combination of skills that can make it very stressful. So did the parents you spoke with struggle with how much to get personally involved? Well, school officials certainly told me this is a problem, and, and researchers say that some schools have actually canceled the science fair or brought it in-house and had it done entirely in the classroom because parents meddle too much. Some parents are too te tempted to get over-involved. All right, so let's start with the idea part of the science project. Do you have any tips on how to help your kids get inspired? Well, ideally, teachers say that the idea should spring from a child's natural curiosity. If a child is interested in health, think about doing a project on calories and food or electrolytes. Um, there certainly are excellent resources online. A nonprofit website called sciencebuddies.org will list dozens of projects based on a child's interest and age. And uh, there are books in the library that have projects, and a parent can guide a kid, too, on an Internet search using keywords. And for many kids, this is also the first time they have to really budget their time on a long-term academic project, as you mentioned earlier. Are there any tips on how to help your kids stay on track? This is one of the most important things, especially in middle school. Time management is a big goal. So a parent can look at the teacher schedule. Usually teachers will set internal deadlines, uh, and the parent can help the child stick to that. Um, Remind them, nudge them, don't prevent them altogether, though, from making mistakes. Sometimes a kid will learn that, boy, I was a little late on that. It could have been a lot better if I had been on time. Right, and even if your hypothesis turns out to be wrong, that's part of the process, right, Sue? This was tough for me. Yes, uh, you write the hypothesis, your experiment doesn't prove it out. Several parents said this was a bad moment, and they tried to encourage your child and say, that's part of the scientific process. It's okay, you haven't failed. It sounds like it's good to take a deep breath every now and again and keep in mind the ultimate goal of the science project. To make your child interested in science, to kindle that love, and that's what parents said was the biggest payoff. Absolutely. Still, Sue, I'm quite glad that my kids are not quite there yet. It all sounds very stressful. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Sue, for that. Thank you, Tanya.